Why now? Why did it take Ed Reed to, to point this out for, for this money to be allocated now? Yeah, it's a good question, but who said it was Ed Reed? It may have been former football head coaching candidate Ed Reed's comments that were critical of the conditions at Bethune-Cookman University that started protests. But the issues were known by students and faculty long before then. Now BCU is spending $10 million to fix it. I got sick from the mold, and I told my mom, like, you know, my room is not in good condition, and they moved me out, but it took them a little while, and I just feel like we shouldn't even be living in conditions where there's mold. BCU interim president Dr. Lawrence Drake says 60 of their 100 buildings need some kind of work done. They are actively looking at which buildings need to be addressed first. Some of the major work we'll do once our students go home for the summer. And when they return in the fall, they will see what we've done. Dr. Drake says that the school had been looking into these issues for about six or seven months. He admits the problems were here long before Hurricanes Ian and Nicole, but says the storms made matters worse. There certainly had to be some degree of uh, microbiological growth before the hurricane because we're in Florida and it rains heavy in Florida <laughs> all the time. Students have asked for more transparency from the university to make sure BCU administration are following through on their promises. Drake says he will be in attendance at four different student town halls during the month of February to discuss changes on campus. Accountability works both ways. We certainly are going to publish a regular progress report on some of the major projects going on. We can do that by video, we can do that by newsletter, and those are important elements. We've also asked student government to do the same. Drake says he'll be in attendance at four different student town halls throughout the month of February to talk about some of these changes. In Daytona Beach, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.